more than half of the silver that was coming to Guangzhou originated from the Spanish Americas. The Spanish crown had regulated silver coinage and the quality of its coins. The Carolus silver Spanish pesos featured the head of either Charles III or after him Charles IV. They ruled over Spain and the Spanish Americas, and those coins were particularly valued in the Qing state. With the king's head, it was well recognized, and the quality of its silver value was well understood and consistent. Unlike other coins or bullion, it did not need to be weighed or assessed for its value each time it changed hands. A knowledgeable trader could simply recognize the face on the coin and know its value. That was true even far from the coast. That the Carolus coins acted like the US dollar does today. Napoleonic France invaded Spain and control over its American holdings were impacted. Many former Spanish American holdings, like Peru and Mexico, gained independence. Various regimes issued coins of different looks and qualities. And as less reliable coins began circulating, Carolus coins became scarcer. They had already been worth more than their weight in raw silver, and now the premium increased even more. A foreign trader could make money trading silver for silver, as long as it was Carolus coins going to Guangzhou in exchange for higher value pure silver in its rawer forms like ingots or irregular coins. Opium, along with Carolus coins, was in demand. When the Western traders couldn't supply enough Carolus coins, they brought in more opium. Interruption of Carolus coins was an influence that contributed both to the Opium War and the Taiping Rebellion. 